I'm gonna marry Demi Lovato and no one can stop me. Hey, my name's Keenan. I'm playing Andrew in BuzzFeed's next feature film, My Fake Boyfriend. Today, I'm gonna be answering some burning questions. And I think these are hot, 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 hot. Your 2019 Met Gala dress, how did that come about? It was designed by a fabulous human named Manisha Aurora, and I found out I was invited to the Met Gala a week before. And that everyone else, most people, they've getting like three months notice. I'm not like, I wasn't certainly super fashion head, and I didn't know who to reach out to, and now you're inviting me to the Met Gala, and I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> That's definitely the time you're like, what do I wear? So I reached out to my friend Andrew, and the theme was camp. I knew I wanted it to feel like a blossoming and, and kind of a growth and awakening and a little galactic in a way. Once he sent me a picture of the Manish dress with the butterflies and the transformative, obviously, theme around that, that felt really right. We then worked on like this pink wig and we bleached my eyebrows pink and we called it a day. <laughs> Your favorite place to visit? Toronto is one of my favorite places to visit because I have a sister that lives here and my nephew and niece. Outside of that, I really loved my trip to Japan. I went by myself for 12 days to Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. Yeah, it was a beautiful experience. What do you think your younger self would say seeing you now? I certainly didn't think I was gonna be an actor or in, in movies. I knew I was gonna be on stage. I always knew I was gonna be on stage. I think I would be blown away. And I think at that point I would be like, whoa, magic's real. Dreams are real. I gotta keep going. I think you'd be proud. And gay films too, pretty sick. Speaking of gay, it's been four years since you've come out. What has it been like for you living in your truth so publicly? I think in the beginning, it was like this crazy whirlwind of like rainbows and flowers. And I was like, this is so amazing. Sunshine, I'm so happy. Colors were literally more vibrant. I felt like all these layers had come off. It was the, the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. And I didn't know that my life, that life could show me that. So that was, incredible. Then it turned into me realizing, oh, that was just the beginning. I had so much stuff to to go through and unlearn and I realized I had neglected so many parts about growing up and my human experience because I was always focused on this kind of secret. So it was like a lot of stunted growth. So it really just became like a big education and that was not easy and it's still not easy, but it's worth it. It's fun because then you also find yourself in these spaces where you're like, oh my God, I never thought I'd be in these spaces. I never thought we could have this, but we can and it's dope and the others don't know about it and it's sick and it's vibrant. I've certainly never felt more free in my life. So amongst the roller coaster dips that is oftentimes a little traumatic. It's completely worthwhile for the, um, the freedom you get to experience for yourself and then offer up to other people. What's one thing you would tell your younger self? I don't think I would say anything. I would just like give him a big hug. Hug him and then actually I would, I would try to let him know through that hug. It would be really tight and strong and I'd let him know that he's strong. Where did the Rainbow Dragon music video concepts come from? Wow. When I had come out, I was then discovering all these different parts of myself that I'd always locked away. So I was finally feeling what it was like to like wear a bunch of dresses, try wigs, like as far feminine as I could go, as far masculine as I could go, and it was so fun. So me and my buddy, uh, Dylan, we just like were FaceTiming a bunch on that. We wanted to play with those identities through the video, and so that like, it was really about how the culmination of all these identities would then ultimately result into building a rainbow dragon. First celebrity crush, Demi Lovato. <laughs> I never had really celebrity crushes growing up. I'm gonna marry Demi Lovato and no one can stop me. No one can tell me anything different. It hasn't happened yet. <clears throat> we'll see, I'll let you know. What's your favorite part about performing in front of a live audience and do you have a favorite song to perform live? I think I love to perform something new, like writing something in the studio and then performing it two weeks later is just like a huge rush because you don't know if it's gonna work out. <laughs> and that's fun. My favorite part about it is just the energy exchange that you get from people. First thing you do when you're feeling overwhelmed, um, I'll try to find a place just to myself and just remind myself that chaos is a part of life and 
Everything is all good. Everything will be all good. BuzzFeed, thank you so much. And thank you all for sharing your burning questions with me. I hope you like my burning answers. And make sure you go and check out the new film, My Fake Boyfriend. I hope you enjoy it and love it as much as we did making it.